And now to a CBS4 iTeam investigation that involves your safety, whether you know it or not. It has to do with one of the most popular flying machines on the planet right now and a problem that literally has some of them falling out of the sky. And wait until you hear about the test to make sure they and you are safe. iTeam investigator Stephen Stong digs up the story and the solution. More than 8,000 Robinson helicopters with their smokestack looking rotor blade mount now fill the skies around the world. They serve just about every non military helicopter function, from ferrying tourists on sightseeing ventures to news and traffic eyes in the sky to police units hovering above crime scenes. It's become the number one selling helicopter basically in the world. Louis Folguera founded Helicopters Over Miami. He regularly flies tourists and other sightseers all over South Florida and swears by Robinson helicopters. It's been a very reliable machine. It's very comfortable. To see for ourselves, the CBS4 I team paid for a half hour sightseeing tour in one of Folguera's Robinson helicopters. We flew over Key Biscayne. I feel more than comfortable flying a Robinson anywhere. But the I team has learned of a darker side to Robinson helicopters, one less widely known, one that could put users who don't know about the problem at serious risk. This is a public safety issue because this is a very preventable problem. A Robinson literally fell out of the sky over the Dominican Republic, killing all four on board in October 2006. Both U.S. and Dominican government investigators determined that the helicopter came apart when the skin on the rotor blade delaminated, debonded, came apart in mid-flight. Delio was joy and happiness personified. Ruben Gonzalez's big brother, Delio, died in that crash. It's been the most painful experience my family has ever gone through. Gonzalez's family, represented by Irvin Gonzalez, no relation, is now suing Robinson Helicopters, alleging that the company improperly made and tested these rotor blades. The risk isn't just to the people in the helicopter. These helicopters are flying over urban areas, big cities. FAA and National Transportation Safety Board records in 2006 and 2007 show at least 10 different instances of rotor blade delamination on Robinson helicopters. The records show the rotor blade came apart in mid-air in each of at least four fatal accidents around the world, including the one that killed Delio Gonzalez. The helicopter blade had an improper adhesive that allowed the skin of the helicopter blade to just come right off. For its part, Robinson Helicopters has issued a number of different safety alerts. So too did the Dominican and Australian governments. The FAA went even further, issuing a legally binding airworthiness directive, warning pilots to look for and correct the problem. But what concerns critics the most is how Robinson officially wants pilots to test for this potentially fatal defect. The official test to see if these blades are bad or going bad involves this, a simple quarter. The manufacturer then tells pilots and mechanics to tap on the blade using a quarter to see if the blade might be going bad. That's outrageous. How can that be the modern test used to see if, if this type of product defect can be identified? This quarter test, it seems silly. Is it really effective? It's a very, very effective method that is readily available. It's, it's easy to do, but it does take a trained ear to know what you're listening for. Yet according to these documents obtained by the I-Team and sent out in June of this year, the NTSB says, quote, tap testing is not adequate and the tap test cannot consistently detect debond in all areas. The CBS4 I-Team contacted one of the owners of Robinson Helicopters out of Torrance, California, Kurt Robinson, by telephone. Kurt Robinson told me he does not believe there's anything wrong with his rotor blades. Instead, he says it is a maintenance issue and up to pilots and mechanics to make sure the blade is not delaminating. As for the quarter test, Kurt Robinson told me, quote, we have not found anything better. I'm Stephen Stock, the CBS4 I team. The CBS4 I-Team discovered a simple fix for this problem. You can read more about that on our website. You can also read for yourself all the investigators' reports, the crash reports, the safety warnings, and the Gonzalez's lawsuit. It's all on our website, cbs4.com. Just click on the I-Team.